Charlie Blackman. Dude, am, am I insane? Are we insane? Am I missing something? Is this really the fourth best outfielder in fantasy baseball? Um, really? Um, I, I love the jump in power since he turned 27 and kind of reached that power prime peak of his career. Mm. But last year literally made no sense just in how he got from, you know, being a low 20s hitter to 29 home runs in just 143 games. And even with those 29 home runs, he still only drove in 82. Ralph, didn't everybody hit 20 home runs in 2016? Yeah, I mean, Freddie yeah, Galvis yeah. hit 20 home runs. Yeah, Didi Gregorius hit 20 home runs. Uh, Charlie Blackman is not, I repeat, N-O-T not a 30-dinger-a-year guy. Uh, his numbers, especially the power ones, aren't necessarily cores inflated. But if you look at his home away splits, they're nearly identical. However, his average is the one that severely benefits from course field. So the power, the other counting stats, not necessarily a big jump one way or the other, but the average jumps from like a 290 to over a 300 hitter. In fact, he hit 324 in 2016. My question to you is if the steals remain in the 20 or below range, and he is a 300 hitter as opposed to a 324 guy, do you still see him as a top 15 overall player in fantasy baseball? No. Uh, top 15, I think it's a little too rich for my blood. You know, I'm always questioning when I look at his numbers at the end of the year, if he's somebody that I severely underrate as a player. You know, maybe, maybe I'm overlooking him because he's, because he's a black mon, you know, black mon lives matter, hashtag, all that sort of stuff. And uh, you, look at, you look at what he's done over the last two seasons. I've owned him nowhere. I probably have like 25 teams. I've owned Blackman nowhere. And, uh, but you look across the board. I mean, the guy had 43 steals back in 2015. He follows that up last year with 29 homers. So which guy is he? Is he the guy that's stealing 43 bases? Is he the guy that's hitting 29, 30 bombs? There are some things that we do know about Blackman. Uh, he has an elite line drive rate, 27.8% line drive rate. That's next level sort of line drive rate. That's amongst the highest in all of baseball. So he makes hard contact. He plays in cores. I think the batting average is always going to stay high. Uh, he was pulling the ball a little bit more last year. I, you know, I wonder... If uh, he was selling out a little bit more for power, or maybe he's slowing down as he gets a little bit older. But, you know, across the board, the production's been really good. He's somebody that if he was at the end of round two, beginning of round three, I'd be more than comfortable taking him. If he's, you know, 14, 15, 16, it's a little bit too rich for my blood. I do see him as a player that could have a 300 batting average next year. Very good counting stats, hitting at the top of a, of a good uh, Rockies lineup, you know, with a 20, 20 homer, 20 steal upside. Um, I don't think he's a 43 steal guy that he was in 2015. I don't think he's a 29 homer guy that he was in 2016. I think it's somewhere in the middle. The one problem with Blackman is if he gets dealt, good luck. Yeah, and you mentioned if he gets dealt, he's a prime trade candidate. You know, the the, the uh, Rockies have Ramel Tappy knocking at the door. David Dahl's already gotten a, you know a cup of coffee. They're trying to figure out what to do with cargo. They got Blackman. Do you remember a couple of years ago when Blackman and – Corey Dickerson were like neck and neck for who was going to be that secondary outfielder that everybody wanted in fantasy. Obviously, Blackman has been a little bit more consistent, but how much of that has to do with Dickerson being let go from Colorado and not having the benefit of cores anymore? I mean, as we mentioned, it's not necessarily all cores driven for Charlie Blackman, but he's more of like a 290 hitter, 2020 guy. Uh, I think you can get 90 or 100 runs. So, you know, if that's the category you're targeting, great. But if you're looking at him as a 40 steals guy, I think those, you know, days behind him, he did deal with the plantar fasciitis or whatever it was uh, that's, that hobbled him and slowed him down, which kind of to his benefit uh, shows his character and his grit that, you know, he, he still, you know, managed to get 143 games in. Um, but I don't think he's the 40-plus steals guy. I think he's more in that 20, maybe 25 range. And the same thing with the homers. So, you know, we're looking at NFBC. ADP data, where he's the 16th player overall, fourth outfielder off the board, too rich for my blood. 